trees grow on the slopes and in the valleys and on the tops. They're dominated by grasses. These large cool season grasslands that occupy these high valleys, broad valleys here in the Rocky Mountains are oftentimes just called parks. At first it would seem to make no sense that you have all this grass in the valley and not trees. I mean, it seems like the perfect place to grow a tree. It's moist, it gets lots of rainfall, and there's trees all around it. So why are they excluded from the valley? There's really two reasons that grasses are promoted here in these low valley bottoms. One, fine textured soils. This is where soils are building up and these fine textured soils tend to favor these cool season grasses that are growing here. But they couldn't grow here unless competition was eliminated from what's going on here. And the density of the grasses prevents a lot of recruitment of woody plants. But there's a big reason that there are very few shrubs out here and it has to do with an animal interaction. If you look at any of the shrubs that managed to come through here, you can see that they're browsed down like this gooseberry and that's done by elk, the largest grazer that we have out here. Elk prefer to graze here during the spring and the fall. They depend on grasses and they feed mostly on grasses. And in the process of grazing, they're stimulating the grasses, but they're also browsing any woody plant that would come up through the grasses, helping to promote the grassland community that they depend on, where they receive most of their food resources. And here at Rocky Mountain National Park, we can see an area where elk have been excluded from a portion of this parkland. And in just the short period of time that elk have been kept out of this region of this park, it's come up in shrubbery and trees. And it's really a testament to the power of that foundation species elk and the power they have to transform the environment they live in.